Hello? Alright, well welcome back ladies and gentlemen. And I went to Fernando G41 Nazgul. And we are back with some more Fallout 4. Just checking it, making sure everything's turned off. Let's see. Turn off my phone. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Yeah. Today's gonna be a short episode. Or it might not be, I don't know. I say that in the last episode I had. Uh, that I said it was going to be a short episode, didn't turn out to be a short episode. Now, first off, we gotta talk to Codsworth. There he is. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze. Through all the post war devastation, the sunrise is still quite impressive. Never heard you say that, Codsworth. Hey, Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Please do. It will be my pleasure. Hey. Oh, really? That's all for now. All right, then. Just verify why you got nothing else to say. I think... I think... When I was trying to modify my weapons, I think I reloaded the previous save. That... He was supposed to talk to me and say... Hey, something among his companion things, but... Oh, well. Anyway... Carry on. Start of the century. And then what we're going to do is head over to Good Neighbor and complete another quest. That's the game plan. <clears throat> and I said it was going to be a short episode, but who knows if, knows if it will be or not. See me, I had to blow my nose. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Need a real challenge? Try survival difficulty. No! There's no way I'm going to try survival difficulty. Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's one way to put it, Codsworth. That's one way to see it. Anyway, story of the century, we gotta go talk to Piper. Diamond City Market's just that way. <coughs> I just go ahead and get inside. Public occurrences. Talk to Piper. Piper! Piper. Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Uh, Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Uh, what's involved? What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Alright, Piper, you got yourself for the interview. Alright, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, what's the matter? Sarcastic. It was normal. We were frozen. Yeah, we were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Sarcastic? No, yes. Yes, indeed. Actually, he served in it. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? Uh, how do you think? Fun destroying things? It sucks, gives me hope, yeah. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the, uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? Uh, family member Sean. Sean. Son, Sean was kidnapped. 
He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Uh, they might be, for I know. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Uh, f people ignore kidnappings one day at a time, get revenge, don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Caught with kind in the way. Uh, a, a moment, perhaps? Uh, sure, Codsworth. Sure, What's up? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction, not knowing if you and your family were all right, uh, was a relief just to find the entrance intact. I'm I'm sorry, Codsworth. I'm sorry, Codsworth. It was so sudden. Not, not even time for goodbyes. Not a single worry, sir, as I shared your priorities completely. Family safety first, above all else. And yes, while it was hard at first, I was able to eventually move on. <laughs> At first, it was the work, busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, sir. Memories of you and the missus, young Shaw, of your love and kindness. I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the wife, Sean, or perhaps Sean's children would one day emerge. Glad you stuck around. I'm glad you stuck around. Oh, sir, you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to see me as more. Of course, Codsworth. Why think otherwise? Of course, get soft. Your family. I consider you to be family too, Codsworth. We're in this world for the long haul. Together. Mr. Aaron, you don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Indeed, Codsworth, indeed. Robert, what are you doing? Oh, you're just fixing the thingy of a whatever that is. <clears throat> Alright, Cosmo, let's get going. Good neighbor awaits. Just shimmer on over. If there's one place in the entire commonwealth where people don't feel the institute, it's good neighbor. They love the freedom their community provides and would do anything necessary to defend it. <laughs> yeah, they... Uh, apparently they're also good at catching synths because you know while Diamond City is fearful and everybody's accusing each other of being synths they good they're tight certainly no one here is trying to win any awards for cleanliness yeah, I'm sure they're trying Cosworth I'm sure they're trying oh it's house <clears throat> get the job of Mayor Hancock and then we'd be on our merry own little way <clears throat> Talk about vaulting you watch. Some problem there you were caught up in. Quarantine a 
some such. Damn, you get around. I do, I do. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Excuse me, Fer Fahrenheit. Is that your name? You're kind of in the way. Move your ass. You should be. Hancock. Hancock. Look, I don't like to brag, but I'm a lover and a fighter. You know what I'm saying? You have kind a of. Chest? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Uh, what if you don't play chess? Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Uh, what's your story? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? That's a nice way to look at it. You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Uh, good neighbor at the Institute, work? Yeah, work. Looking for work. Work, huh? Mm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Uh, Pikmin Gallery? Sure. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Come on. Uh, you never really, oh that smoke is gonna kill you one day. <laughs> Come on, Codsworth, we gotta get going. Are you gonna put that cigarette away or not? I'd rather not come back here and find you still smoking. I hate that animation for some reason. Uh, and she lit up another one. I could hear it. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I? Oh, you're. I'm here. Actually, give me one second. I want to go the other way. I want to see if she actually did, still does the animation, which I hate. Out of the way. Yeah, they're still doing the animation. Alright, let's just get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> I don't like it. It kind of breaks my immersion. The fact that if you come back and they're still doing the animation. It just, it breaks my immersion. It breaks my immersion. Anyway, let's get, let's go. Let's go, just go. Let's see. Old North Church is the closest there. So I just head to Old North Church. I mean, if Fire Knight has to do it, fine, but Cancock, please don't hear him do it. <coughs> let's just, let's go, let's go. Every issue of Tesla ma Science Magazine we collect has a rank in the Tesla perk, which grants a slight increase to hit damage with energy weapons. Uh, sadly, but I'm not using energy weapons right now because I'm low on fusion cells. If I have 500 shots, I consider it myself lucky to have those. Now give me a thousand shots of fusion cells and I'll gladly use an energy weapon here and there. Alright. Here are gunshots.
Let's keep going, Codsworth. Hancock gave us a job, and I do not want to fail him. Let's go this way. Circle around, you know? Silver Shot Radio lost. Hey! hey. Nope, not indeed. Let's switch over to my combat rifle. Well, the shish kebab will do nicely. On a body. No other bodies here. Let's go. Maybe I should have crouched before I entered. You think we're gonna catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted on Oh shit! That was something. Who's there? Nobody. Turn to Hancock. Let's let's keep searching around. Nothing there now. What do you think? Yeah, huh? oh. 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 calling card. I mean, oh, I'm a tough son of a bitch to get rid of. Nah, let's not pick that lock. These are some weird paintings. What I gotta say about that? Peekaboo! Ooh, combat armor! Man, <laughs> there's a there's a pipe revolver. No, not really. Excuse me, Codsworth. Full critical. Fire clipboard, I don't need it. Turpentine, don't need it. Gotta save the space for the later stuff. I like the fact that there was an explosion up here that took care of a few of them. Damaged a few. I find this level of job as entirely unnecessary. I'll deal with the cut. Oh, here's the missile launcher. They looks like they tripped it or something over here and then just it blew up a bunch of them. <laughs> Including the two poor swords and the and the bomb level. Alright, I think this is the way to go. You could just peek in there and just... Oop. Peek in there and see all the raiders that's coming in. I got the door open. Let's go! <laughs> I can't get a clear shot at him. Come out of there, you. We got you covered. Nobody's here. It's friendly neighborhood, uh, 
So a survivor. More paintings. Actually, you know what? I kind of like this painting. It's kind of like all these hands belong to raiders. And they're reaching out from the flames of hell to the almighty god. Like, please have mercy on us. But he's like, no. No mercy for the wicked. <clears throat> I wish I could put that in it. On my settlements. More Pikmin calling cards. Pikmin! No Pikmin here. Can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Pikmin! What the fuck? Pikmin! I'm not Pikmin, but I'm still gonna kill ya. Wait, is he wearing a combat rifle? He is! Got to back up a little. Oh, that's radiation. Cosworth, I don't need you to be a butler right now. I need, need you to be a uh, killer robot. No sign of him now. Get some, motherfucker! What the hell was that? Shit! Lost him. Oh, I dare say it. Hello? Ew, this water is yucky. I'll be with you in a moment. Ooh, hunting rifle. God damn it, I'm over encumbered. Godsworth, I need assistance. I need assistance, Godsworth. Hey. Mr. Aaron? Uh. Yeah, you take that missile launcher. Go to action. Give me pistols. Cause we can't carry anymore. God dang it. I heard a turret. That's kind of bad for me. Ooh. Peekaboo! Don't worry, I'm coming for you next, wherever you might be. Actually, that reminds me, I should... I want to check and see what's here exactly. Hick! Let's see, Pikmin Gallery. This is Jack, Surgical, a mask. That blew up, I think. And Pikmin's room. All right, and Pikmin's room. There's two. There's two things I need. Ooh, quantum. Even though I'm not sure if it's even valuable anymore. You can't hide forever, Pikmin. Oh. Oh. You hear me? You're a dead man. No, it's a turret. You only back up. Well, that's your raider. You're gonna have something good on you, ain't ya? Let's 
This one kite for it. Immune slaves metal arm. Alright, I'm kinda good. White bottle. A debris bottle. If you hear anything in the background, that's my family again. <coughs> what of you? What of you? Finally got you. And I finally got you. Do you hit off? Mm. Hang on, I'll help you. Dead. Pikmin, I presume. <clears throat> that was close. Thank you. Those people deserve worse than death. Uh, they were they were killers. They were cold-blooded killers. They got their pound of flesh. But I'll collect my own again soon. I owe you. Uh, don't run it either way. You don't owe me anything. I would have done it either way. That's all the more reason to reward you. If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Pikmin's key with a little fob boy on it. Gosh, would dislike that. Why? We helped a man and killed a bunch of raiders in the process. Also, there's a teddy bear. Ooh, a plasma pistol. I demand to know why Koch would dislike that. Now, where is Pikmin's room? Okay, it's back here. Here it is. His lockpick. Always strive for the untamable. And here's the astonishing tales. Yes. Alright, let's get the heck out of here and go get that Pikmin Pikmin's gift. Scissor, the only painting I liked out of all of those was the one that we found in the basement with all the hands reaching out. That was so, is it me, or is, could those paintings be painted with blood? I mean, who knows? Who knows at this point? <clears throat> Any time now would be nice, please. -y. Let's go get the pigment's gift, though. I'm eager to see what he gave us. Should have a shot of signal found. Where the hell are we? Oh, that's that's not. We don't go that way. Come on, Cotsworth. Let's see. It's gotta be the. Yep, here we are. I remember this. How'd you get it, it past me, Cosworth? Pikmin Gallery. Do, 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 and then, then we'll report to Hancock. I highly doubt it. Oh, I missed the calling card. Actually, this one... Huh. This ain't too bad. Picnic for Stanley. Ooh! 
Pikmin's talent. Pikmin's blade. Protagonist bleed for 25 points of additional damage. Pikmin's gift done and. Oh! You son of a. With a pinch left after experience, I could have leveled up. Let's do this thank you now. Pikmin's calling card, Pikmin's calling card, Pikmin's thank you now. It says, thanks killer. Aww. Now for our, our serial killer who kills those raiders, I mean he's not too bad. At least he's only killing raiders, right? <coughs> right? No, I'm also looking at some of the other paintings he has here on the wiki page and some of these aren't too bad. I would definitely hang these on the wall if they, if I, unless they were, you know, painted with using blood. In which case, you can keep them. <coughs> Except painting 12, which is the hands reaching out. <coughs> Excuse me. I would definitely put that somewhere. Alright, Cosmo, let's go. We have to get back to good, good neighbor. Good neighbor, here we go. And look at that. That is just punishment. 24, level 24, I'm only a pinch away from level 25. It was just... <coughs> just like yesterday when I was playing Highlander and For Honor, I was a pinch away from <coughs> leveling it up. That is true punishment right there. Are you hard working, such and yet? It's you're just a pinch. You're a pinch. You're a pinch away from leveling up. <coughs> All right, everyone, get out of my way. You're looking to stock up on general equipment. You can hit daily discounts. I know. I think Whitechapel Charlie's got some work if you're looking. He's down in the third rail. Thank you. How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? Uh, it was horrific. It was horrific. God, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer. He was using dead bodies for his art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. And I got a level up. Come on, Codsworth. Let's head home. I got bunches of loot to get rid of. Bushes full of loot. Including a missile launcher that killed several raiders. Just because they were stupid enough to trigger it. <laughs> the fools. The little fools. Actually, let's level up first. Oh, the decisions, the decisions, the decisions. I could always get science rank 2. I would need level 28 to get science rank 3. Strong back. I really wish there was another rank in strong back that gives you a 50 more carry weight. <clears throat> but that ain't gonna happen. Ooh, armor. You have to get with armor. Because I can get that deep pocket. Uh, mod. Let's be carry more. Because I have the pocketed mod, but I want the pocketed mod. Because it might <coughs> increase my carry capacity by just a little bit more than I. Oh, when I need it. And I, I think this will be the end of the episode soon. There's not much else for me to do. For now, I'm put off in the main story for now. Let me see. Should have shot a signal loss. Come on, Codsworth, we gotta put away all this loot. Codsworth, you just run. Hey, can I be of service? What's mine is yours, sir. Indeed, because I gave it to you. Gather the little more 
than we can carry it, isn't he, boss? Well, at least I had you to help me carry some of it, Cosworth. At least I had you to help me carry some of it. Now I just gotta put it all this away. What am I carrying right now? Uh, the combat rifle. Let's see, plasma pistol. That Pikmin's knife actually looks pretty good. I just deposit all this in this trunk right here. Let's see, brace shadow combat armor, cushion painted metal right leg, and then more metal oh helmet. Where did I get two of these? Ah oh, well. Right your chest piece, right your chest piece, right your chest piece, strengthen. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Comfort, grip, excited, plasma pistol. That's good. Long sight, co light combat armor, lacos. The missile launcher. Bolt action. If you're hearing that door, sorry about that. Uh, where else am I going to store this stuff? Wait, the dog stuff to go in here. Light dog armor. I have this mutant... Mutant Slayer's metal left arm. <coughs> let's put the shish kebab somewhere. Actually, let's check this out. Pikmin's and blade or the shish kebab. Pikmin blade, which is only like weighs one. Or the shish kebab, which weighs three. Hmm. Let's put the shish, shish kebab away. And put the deep pockets on this. Why look like I want to chat? Lady, to get your ass out of my face. Anyway, that'll do it. Right, Codsworth? Let's see just how much am I carrying now. 370 is my current carry weight capacity. Hmm. I'm tempted to upgrade my vault suit. I'm also tempted to upgrade these combat armor pieces a bit. Am I carrying any mods on me? Indeed I am. Let's let's put these away. Pocketed limb, pocketed torso. <coughs> put all the mods in the foot locker. Let's just put the Oh is the lock picking? Lock picking bobblehead there. Alright, let's see. What else, can, what else can I do? Road to Freedom, Taking Point, Hangman's Alley. Actually, let's take out free, Freedom. Where's Codsworth? Codsworth! Hey. Yes, sir? Codsworth. Oh, you got nothing to say? 
Your thoughts? Sir, I realize you have military training, but I fear your decision may have been too abrupt. The Brotherhood seems more concerned about their technology than the people of the Commonwealth. I actually never heard you say that. Relationships are a lot like algebra. You always look at your ex and try to figure out why. <laughs> oh, that's good. How do you feel about our relationship? Right as rain, sir. While the Commonwealth leaves something to be desired, it's all well and good as long as we're together. That's all. All right, then. Good afternoon. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, broadcasting across the Commonwealth. This was just delivered by a robot. Anybody in the vicinity of Grey Garden, please go see what they need there. Oh, terrific. Started trouble waters. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> everything seems to be kosher, copacetic and everything. Yep, everything seems to be cold as heck. Uh, I just got you my nose. Ugh. I was ready to I slept him. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll cut the episode right there, considering we've done enough. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Do leave a like, subscribe, I comment, and share. Why do I have that marked on? Alright. I might as well dismiss Codsworth. Codsworth! Stop. Heads up. Sir? Come on. Heads up. Something you need, sir? Can I be of service? I think it's best if we went our separate ways. All right then, sir. I'll just pop off then and head back to the old domicile. Head to Sanctuary Good. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Do leave a like, subscribe, comment, share the video. And I shall see you in the next episode where we'll probably do something interesting. Till next time. Bye bye.